so. Uh, Dan from Dearborn Heights. Uh, okay. Number three, Cindy from New York, New York. In our great society of being fair, it's fair except everybody who plays by the rules. Playing by the same rules. <laughs> Jesus. I guess I see it a different way because I see everybody's in the helping everybody else business now except the people who want to help themselves are viewed to be piggish. But, you know, helping yourself. Somebody's got to help themselves in the culture. I don't mean you have to be jerks about it, but, you know, Ayn Rand was right. It takes some people being selfish with their talents just to, you know, I always look back at Thomas Edison. And he was a decent man, a nice man. But, man, he was selfish as to, out the wazoo. And I look back and I go, would it be better to have... A guy say, um, well, I'm going to hold a candle for my brother to read. Or a guy you know, say, fuck that, I'm going to build a light bulb. And I'm going to patent it, I'm going to make a shitload off it and build a big lab and make more stuff. You need one of them once in a while, don't you? It's nice to throw tinsel on the tree. you got a tent pole it somewhere with a genius who's in the genius business. All right, so let's see where Cindy's going with this. New York, New York, I can't tell if we've got a mad lib. Or she's being ironic. In our great society of being fair, playing by the same rules, having a level playing field, and participation trophies for everyone. Now I get it, she's pissed off too. Why has our president decided to abandon these principles? With his executive, uh, latest executive order on illegal immigration, he has decided that all his talk that he wants us all to play by the same rules. Oh, come on, you've seen this before. This didn't happen last Friday. <laughs> of course, he. Yeah, that's the big difference. Uh, I, like everybody uh, in the country, find it intoxicating that I live in a country that's all about equal opportunity. But you've seen from day one, he believes in equal results. And that's its own form of tyranny. I, mean, I, I You know, people can say, oh, I love that idea, equal results. I don't. Unless equal opportunity yields equal results for everybody. If you told me everybody had the same opportunity and everybody came out pretty much the same, I'd go, oh, that's fine with me then. That's the way it happened. But if you're going to tell me you're enforcing equal results... That, that's, that blows the whole first part of the equation out. There is no equal opportunity then. Anyway, um, having a level playing field is just talk. Of course it is. And uh, not even talk. It, 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 guess what? It was all on a prompter. We all make fun of that, but it was all on a prompter. Should have known that. Uh, they put the things they want him to say, or he puts the things he wants to say on the prompter, and he just repeats them ad nauseum. Even the speech last week where he was supposed to say something new about the, you know, jobs and the economy, it's just, it never varies. It's just, he says it, people go, oh, nothing happened in there. He goes in the next day and picks up another microbrewery. That, to me, is like, okay, uh, I believe gays should be married. I evolved on that. I mean, the day before you weren't? What, what does it mean? Cheney was on that ages ago. I was on that ages ago. I'm sorry you're late to the party, but this whole thing seems to be politically driven. Then now he's picked up, uh, what was it, a, you know, Mexican kids should stay. All right, there's the next uh, patchwork quilting it, you know, his uh, constituency. And I guarantee you sometime in late October, if they're still saying we're down a little, you know, uh, he'll get the, the kids back with legalizing pot. Yeah, it's all fine, it's his approach, but at some point, I think there's a huge leviathan out there called the uh, silent majority that's just like, listen, by and large, we don't care, but uh, it's a goat fuck now as far as the economy. And we're going to have the kids' table shut up and eat, and <laughs> the adult table's going to take it back for a while, and we'll let you know when you can come in and play around again. Uh, now, the, now, what do we tell the fine people who want to immigrate to the U.S. with their kids and respect this country enough to come here the honorable way? You tell them to sneak in. I have friends who have been in it for, honest to God, near double-digit years now trying to do it the right way. And they always throw another thing. You know, they make them jump through hoops. Couldn't we at least do that at our border? Put up a couple hoops so people have to literally like, do that 
come in like Catherine Zeta Jones during the opening credits of Entrapment, something. <laughs> if you try to do it the right way, they make you jump through hoops. The other way, you come across in the middle of the night, you're all in, and if you have a kid here, he's in for the rest of the time, and he anchors back to you and the grant. You know, it's it's flipped upside down. Enjoy these samples of the bathrobe sessions, a weekly video available only to members of the DMZ, the Dennis Miller Zone on DennisMillerRadio.com.